Inner Maniac, Death at a Funeral Moon Review. Yeehaw! Alright. Okay. Hello everybody, Cinema Man here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the American remake of the British comedy Death at a Funeral. This is my 20th movie review that I've done with Cinemaniac. The plot follows Aaron and Ryan, played by Chris Rock and Martin Lawrence, who are organising their recently deceased father's funeral. There is a series of funny situations that they're put in organising it and hosting it, and there's a couple of multiple storylines which involve, there's one that involves Ellen Oscar, played by Zoe Zidane and James Martin, who slips in volume after, like, a near-death experience, and she turns out that the volume isn't volume, but a hallucinogenic hallucinogenic drug. There's also one that's involved Luke Wilson's character and Tracy Morgan's character Norman who pick up their naggy wheelchair bound foul mouthed Uncle Russell played by Danny Glover. There's a couple of funny things about this movie. There's like really funny things in this. It's opened with Brian played by Kevin Hart and a bunch of these funeral directors bringing in a coffin and it turns out they got the wrong guy they got actually got a Chinese man in the coffin the whole story turns around when Peter Dinklage's character Frank who was original in the original death at a funeral comes in and tells him like he's the gay lover of the recently deceased father and he tries to blackmail them out of 35 grand and they sort of do the best not to keep the secret they do like they tie him up and all this stuff and it is a really funny film that I mean everyone gave this film negative reviews not everyone but okay and anyone who gave negative reviews I don't want any crap in the comment section below alright one thing you should know is that for people for people with dwarf, dwarfism who is um watching this video on YouTube right now if you uh, don't see it if like I mean because there's some sort of jokes that make take offense to dwarfism like there's actually a um one we've got going let me get this straight our father was romantically involved with someone who can fit in his pocket that and that was like a funny line but some people if you're going to take to some dwarves if you're going to take offense at this don't watch death for the funeral and so I've not seen the original Death the Funeral. This movie features like constantly a star studded cast as James Martin from the X-Men movies, Kevin Hart from Soul Play, Peter Dinklage who was in the original Death of Funeral and an elf. I mean this guy has been like it's not a title. It was funny, it was great, it was a funny scene where James Marston was on hallucinogenics and thought the coffin was moving so he got like someone out and <laughs> the dead body just rolled over and freaked everybody out. It was funny. Very funny. There's actually this film features like a most mostly a black cast. Like Features Martin Lawrence, Chris Rock, Danny Glover, and Danny Glover. He's funny in this. He's funny in this. And he treats Tracy Morgan like crap. He's funny, and there's also a scene like with where try to um 
Good person to try to hit on Zoe Valdano's character who got drunk with him and woke up next to him and Luke Wilson is still hitting on her because he likes her and it is funny I have not seen the original Death at the Funeral but I will watch it it seems kind of funny it's almost very good I have some comedic dialogue and there's a couple of midget jokes in this so I recommend to some people with dwarfism don't go and watch it if you're gonna get offended by it don't get offended by it as uh, actually okay I don't know what to say now but um also next time I will be reviewing Shrek Forever After. If I get a chance to see it, I'll review Shrek Forever After. But I did see, like, I saw a couple of funny trailers for this film. I saw a trailer for Get Me to the Greek with Russell Brand. Sarah Marshall. Sarah Marshall was crap. I did not like forgetting Sarah Marshall. But Get Me to the Greek looked absolutely funny. And, um,. There's actually a trailer for Grown Ups, for the movie Grown Ups with Adam Sandler and Chris Rock. Also, I did think this is, it looked kind of good. I'm going to see that. So, anyways, I give this movie a 4 out of 5. It was great. Plus, the title didn't promise anything. They said there'll be a death at a funeral, but fr Peter Dinklage was... He do not count because he was on drugs and he was unconscious and everyone thought it was dead. So, I give this movie a 4 out of 5. I'm standing here off screen. I give this film a 4 out of 5. Don't see it if you're... If you don't get the humour. So, that was my review of... My cinematic review for Death at a Funeral.